Hi friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 3 in Kushto playlist that means Kushto query language playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about how we can add comments in Kushto query language when we are writing our interactive queries to perform our analytics. So please watch ADX playlist that means data explorer playlist from my channel at least starting 4-5 videos because most of the time we deal with the data which is there in the ADX clusters and we use KQL language that means Kushto query language there to write it and also please watch part 1 and 2 of Kushto playlist as well because all the videos in the sequence order basically. So if you watch these prerequisites then you will get most out of it okay because uh, you know how to install the Kushto explorer I explained that in our past video previous video. So you will get the more sense okay. So firstly what are comments? So in any programming language as you heard so comments are the ones which program or which engine will actually ignore to execute them. If you add any comment in your code or in your query then engine will not evaluate that line as a code and comments mostly people will use uh, for their understanding. So if you have written a big query what that query does if you add a comment there at the starting or at the end or in middle somewhere then it will be easy for you to recall what was that query and why you written that query. Even if some other developer came and he visited your code then for them also it is very easy to navigate through and understand that code. So comments are very useful basically when you are writing your code for more readability. And these comments are basically user provided text and comments can be inserted on a separate line or nested at the end of the query also. If you see this query, comment is provided at this starting. So this is slash slash is the symbol what we use in KQL to represent any line as a comment. It can be at the starting, it can be at the ending as well or it can be in, nested within the line of the Kisto query. So if you see the second line, Till here it is a query basically but from here it is a comment. So this portion will be not considered for evaluation by the engine when it is executing the query. So when I practically show you this you will sense more out of it. So let me go to Kushto Explorer. This is Kushto Explorer. In our past video we have connected to this ADX cluster ADX Mahir test and demo database and my database there are two databases. In demo database I have a table called uh, Strom events table as well. And this table actually contains a strom related events information related to different states in United States of America. So let me practically show you this. To write any query here first you need to go to home menu and hit this new tab to get a new tab here and in new tab you actually write your queries okay. So this is where you write your queries. So right now so I want to execute a query of strom events so double click this table name automatically the table name will come and uh, if I execute this table and if I show you the output you can clearly see it has strom, e strom events related information for every state. So let's wait for the query to execute here. Our query executed successfully and you can see here we have start time, end time, episode, event ID and in which state it happened and what is the event type it is a thunderstorm or it is a winter storm everything right. So for every state we have this uh, storm related information and in the Azure Data Explorer playlist I discussed how to add this table actually from one of the open data set we can load this data into our ADX cluster I have shown that that's why I always encourage to watch my ADX playlist first. So now this is a table so in this table uh, let's assume I want to filter filter to filter the data we have to use where operator I will discuss all these operators and everything in our upcoming videos don't worry so similar to SQL here also where operator where I want to take the state column so on equals to equals to maybe New York okay so wherever we have New York uh, data rows only get that data okay so let's select this query and let me hit this execute button to execute the query so once the query execute completed you can see only New York state related information here. You can clearly see this here. Okay. So for, for example, if you write this query, it would be good practice if you add comments here. So what I will be doing here, I will add a comment saying like, uh, this is KQL query. So it's a comment just I added. And maybe here I will add a comment like filter New York state data. Okay. And here also I'm adding a comment like 
end of kql query so i added three comments here at the starting one at the ending one and i nested one comment in middle of the query if i execute this query now still you see the same result see right now you can see wherever i write the query it is a blue highlighted that means it is selected automatically now let me hit this run button to run this query and if you observe the result you can see it is the same results actually so nothing changed so why what happened why these rows were not executed because they are comments whenever you add this double slash they act as a comments basically so if you remove this slash the moment you remove see you see all the errors the intelligence itself is telling that there are some errors right it is not able to identify what kind of code it is basically so the moment you added a comment it became green and that means engine knows its comment and automatically engine will not consider them for execution and uh, if you want to add comments manually i mean don't want to manually type this slash slash symbols if you want to have a shortcut key or hard key then select the line where you want to add a comment and then hit control k c so control k c will add the comment similarly if you want to remove the comment select control then k u that will remove the or undo the comment okay so if you see the slide also so control k and control c will add the comment control k and control u will uncomment the line okay and you can add the comments for multiple lines as well for example here i have one line and i have uh, let's hit enter here and let me add another line here so i have two lines so if you want to add comments for both of these two lines select this control k c c both the lines are commented so you are you can add multiple lines also as a comments but for every line make sure you add this slash slash symbol so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea what comments are and how to add comments in kql query thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much